flying, kayaking, fishing, skiing, and many, many more adventures. Follow along as we explore the wild land of the midnight sun. Well, it turns out nice weather does exist in Alaska sometimes. Despite our uh, exceptionally wet and rainy summer with only a couple nice days, we finally got like a week of high pressure, clear skies. So uh, yeah, it's getting cold. Fall colors are turning on. It's absolutely beautiful out here. And I think this is gonna be one of the last days that um, the lake is not frozen up. There's like little sheets of ice here and there on the lake, which looks really cool. But uh, yeah, a couple days it's gonna be frozen up and the leaves are gonna be falling off. But uh, yeah, we decided to come out to the glacier and I haven't had coffee or breakfast yet, but uh, this is a good way to start the day. Got a tie out here. Heck yeah. Jaren. How's it going? What's the plan today, guys? We were just dinking, right? <laughs> we, uh, we had the cub and uh, Brendan on the drone, dude. We were just ripping around the toe of the glacier here and yeah, didn't really have a plan. Just uh, saw nice weather and want to come hang out and fly airplanes. And yeah, we got FPV drone. We're gonna play around with a little bit. Inspire three. Um, really excited to do some dual op with that. So yeah, got some uh, help out here. Jaren's gonna try some dual op. Oh yeah. We've never dual op before, so it's gonna be a little bit experimental. But um, yeah, we're gonna give it a try. And uh, got this beautiful lake and glacier and all you can ask for i was a little bit late i uh a little bit frostier than expected uh, my starter wouldn't work so i started hand propping it luckily i got up like an hour early and put the generator on because she was pretty cold i didn't <laughs> you didn't like, <laughs> how'd uh, how'd she start for you dude she fired right up yeah. actually really i was surprised but i had to sit there and idle for like 20 minutes so that the frost uh my window defrost yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> then we had to get jaren in <laughs> yeah, that was a project. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Long legs, dude. Long legs do not cooperate with cubs all that often, but we make it. We make it happen. Yeah, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was a little frustrated. I didn't have any of my covers on, so I uh, uh, I had the generator, two hair dryers going, <laughs> defrosting, yeah. and just enough to get out here. It was a little late, but uh, really perfect timing. It's freaking yeah, beautiful out here. Light. Yeah. What's uh, What's your plan for flying around here? Well, we, uh, we're just gonna take off. I think we're gonna rip around some of these cool icebergs here. Come out here, fly along the face of the ice, maybe do a loopy loop, come back around, and uh, yeah, maybe do some landings on some gravel bars out here, pretty much. But we'll kind of wing it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, this is the, the ultimate playground out here. Just a quick 20, 30 minute flight from home and uh, pretty much unlimited everything you can imagine. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, we only have a couple hours out here, so we're just gonna fool around a little bit and hopefully get up back out later and I don't know, go film some other cool yeah, places. Yeah, go somewhere else cool. <laughs>
was absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna change batteries here. Then I think we should do one more battery with this uh, FPV around the lake. Be sweet, and then we'll switch to the big drone. Whew, that was a close one. Yeah. Lost signal, almost lost the drone, and then the battery was dying, it was auto landing. Oh, no. <laughs> Made it back here like two seconds to spare. <laughs> yeah. Dude, gotta take that card off and uh, put a new one in case I crash this thing. It won't be worth it as long as I have that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously.
pretty neat. <laughs> Jared and I have never flown a dual op before, which is pretty tricky to figure out for your first time flying with it, someone new. Dual op is me basically flying the drone, and then Jaren's operating the camera and the gimbal, and it's pretty confusing uh, to get a hang of, especially if you've never flown together, and he absolutely crushed it. I was flying like a madman in sport mode, trying to keep up with Ty, and just going every which way, and I don't think Jaren lost him out of the frame once, which is pretty good for uh, never flying together and filming something as dynamic and fast as that. Ty also crushed with the flying, good work, freaking nailed it. <laughs> and yeah, uh, worked pretty well. I think the FPV shots turned out quite well too. It was pretty crazy, the FPV, if I got right behind Ty, I'd get in his wake turbulence and the instructor really screw me up, but uh, there might be a couple shaky parts in there. I tried to stay a little off the side or above him, but I think all in all it worked out pretty good. Couldn't have a better day for it. Fall colors popping. Um, glassy as can be, the lake is rarely ever that glassy. Pretty epic to see the reflection of the plane in the mountains, almost as clear as the plane in the mountains. Uh, yeah, that was pretty exciting. Uh, Jaren and Ty had to boogie, but I am gonna go do some more flying and enjoy this beautiful day and uh, get this crappy mud off my tire. Uh, one thing you gotta watch out for, when the nice frozen ground thaws out, uh, you taxi through what was nice solid ground and then you're left with this crap, which is pretty sticky. It's like glue and uh, yeah, I'm gonna work hard to get it all off. If I took off with that, I'd start to get some momentum going and it would all fly forward into my prop or ahead of my prop and I would taxi through it and then it would chew up my prop. I've done that, made that mistake before and got some big old dings in my prop. So. Uh, had to fix those, but yeah, I'm gonna work on getting all this crap off and go rip around some more. I just got that Inspire 3. Uh, I've only shot with it a couple other times, and man, what a tool. I've been flying the Inspire 2 for, I don't know, many, many years, and it is insane. Uh, shooting 8K, sport mode, keeping up with the tie, absolutely incredible. So hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be doing some more of that. Catch you on the next one.